Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at love 6 from Logic 1, and this is the Python solution. The problem states the number 6 is a truly great number. Given two int values, a and b, return true if either one is 6, or if their sum or difference is 6. Note the function absolute num computes the absolute value of the number. So what this means is that um, if I have absolute value of 7, we get 7, or absolute value of negative 7 gives us 7. And this will be really useful, you'll see, just to kind of simplify our conditional structure. All right, so we look at the examples here. 6, 4 returns true because we see parameter A is 6. 4, 5 is false because neither is 6 nor is the sum or difference. And 5, 1 is true because the sum is 6. So this really comes down to just a couple of if statements um, to check if it satisfies one of those, one of those conditions and we return true, and then our catch-all is return false. So I'm going to put at the very bottom here, return false, and I'm going to put some if statements. So I'm going to say if a is equivalent to 6, or b is equivalent to 6. And if that's the case, we're going to return true. Now, the next thing they say, if the sum is 6, so if a plus b is equivalent to 6, we're going to return true. And they say if the difference is equivalent to 6. Now, I'm going to say if a minus b is equivalent to 6, um, we return true. And now I'm going to hit go here and watch what happens. We have a state that fails. So the problem here is that um, when we check the difference, uh, a minus b can be 6, but it could also work out to be negative 6, which is valid, because it just says the difference, but it doesn't specify the order. Because we notice here, see if there's a 7, 1 somewhere in here, 7, 1. So if a minus b, 7 minus 1 is 6, and that returns true, of course, but here where it's 1, 7, I get negative 6. And one way to solve this problem is you could put another if statement here. You could say if b minus a is equivalent to 6, return true, and that solves the problem. But a nicer way to do this is actually take advantage of that absolute value function. So if I come up here and I take this a minus b and I say abs bracket a minus b. So what it does is it takes the difference of a and b and then takes the absolute value giving you just a straight up difference. So it doesn't matter which one is larger. And I hit go, the problem is solved. We know the absolute value function is a function contained within the standard Python library because we don't have to call it with anything. Now, of course, we can tighten this up to, to a single line. So notice that in each of these cases, if this evaluates to true, return true. If that's true, return true. Or if that's true, return true. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the, this return statement. Or let's start this way. We're going to say or. And we're going to say or. Oh, let's keep that for now. So basically, if this first statement is true, or this statement is true, or that statement is true, we return true. And I hit go, and it works. And of course, because if this statement is true, we return true, we can change this if to a straight up return. And we get rid of that colon at the end, and then we get rid of these return statements. And there we go. So I hope that video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Remember, you can find all of my solutions on my um, GitHub repository, which is linked in the comment section. Have a great day.